Today, this is Trenčín, which is north of Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. The coffee culture here in Trenčín is very different. They start very early at 8 a.m. and they still go all the way up to 10 p.m. In fact, I had dinner last night and I came and passed by this same coffee shop that I'm going to show you today. And at 9 o'clock, it was packed with people. There were reservations until 9 p.m. So unlike in the other Western European countries where they close at 5 p.m. or even 4 p.m., this one goes a long way through the day. So today, let's go to visit a place called Coffee Sheep. And they say they have freshly roasted coffee. I am going to ask for their drink, which is called Bonbon Cafe. Let's find out what Bonbon Coffee is. Come and join me. So this is not my first time here, I was here last night and uh, I just wanted to show you this drink today and uh, this is my friend here. Hello. Hello. Hi. What is your name? Hi. My name is George. 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 George is the barista here and he showed me a few drinks yesterday. Yes. I really like your Bon Bon coffee. Bon Bon, yeah, exactly. With milk or without? Can you give me two so I can try both? Of course. I so, tell me about Bon Bon Cafe. Bon Bon Cafe, it is, uh, it is coffee with uh, condensed it's with sweetened milk. Sweetened milk uh, and then on the milk. bottom of the of a the cup. cup. Yep. Yes. Right. And uh, there is a regular uh, espresso with uh, or without milk. Foam. Okay. Well, um, one is with just um, sweetened condensed milk and espresso on top, and the other is the espresso with sweetened condensed milk and also milk foam on top. Yes. What's so special about uh, Coffee Sheep? Tell tell us. Coffee Sheep. It's uh, like a place which uh, we try to gather the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we community who loves coffee and uh, wants to drink uh, every day some kind of new coffee. We have a lot of uh, types of coffee from uh, a lot of uh, countries. 10 p.m. You were still open last night. Uh, we were open until to, to, yesterday. We will open until uh, uh, midnight. Yes. That, wow, that's the word. Midnight. midnight. There's there were a lot of people here. It was Friday night last night. Yes, so it's maybe. A Friday and uh, Saturday. Saturday. Today's Friday and Saturday they open till midnight. Yes. There you go. You can have your coffee still even so late in the night. Okay, show us how you make your bon bon coffee. Okay. Uh, four types of coffee today. Uh, we have two blends. One is uh, Fipresso, it's our coffee, and one is uh, in Slovak is a Tma Varanku. In English, it means uh, the night in a cup because it's a very dark rose, it's Italian style. Okay. And also today we have a Costa Rica or a Cuba. So, which one are you going to give me today? It it's, uh, depends on your preferences. I'd like to try one of the dark ones. One dark one? Yes. So total, we will choose uh, the tma, the night in the cup. Okay, the night in the cup. And uh, yeah. would you like to choose with milk or without? Uh, this one is with milk, I think. With milk, yes. okay. And uh, we can choose this, the fruit one. It's with Costa Rica okay. with foam, yes. Costa Rica for the one one cafe with milk foam. Okay, okay. let's, let's go to prepare it. So first I will try to prepare the one without milk and we will choose like I said, this dark coffee. It's made in uh, Stupava. It's near Bratislava. It's uh, from our friends. We will roasting them. Uh, we will roast this coffee for them. And it's uh, one of the favorite coffees for uh, older generation because uh, here in Slovakia, a lot of older generation prefer the dark roast coffee, not the not this kind of. So we're using this. This is a sweetened uh, milk. So how much do you put? We are putting like a half of half of centimeter. Okay. It is bonbon, so it needs to be sweet. Okay. And uh, we also want to feel it. That there is a sweetened milk okay. there. So I will a bit clean my machine and uh, pour the coffee. We pouring about uh, 24 seconds 24 seconds yes but also we're trying to look and uh, look how the coffee looks when it's uh, the process is doing so if we see the coffee needs less time we will stop it okay. now it looks pretty fine quite fast isn't it yeah. sorry it's quite fast yeah it is mm -hmm. 
and this is our bonbon without milk. Well, I'm excited to try this. Let's make the other one. Okay, we okay. can we can prepare. Okay. But also we have uh, the alternative for a milk. If uh, someone wants, we have a soya milk or a oat milk or a free lacto. So if someone has uh, allergies like me, can uh, choose alternatives. We think of everybody. And this time you're going to give me the Costa Rica? Yes. Right? Costa Rica, of course. Okay. In Costa Rica, we can feel also, it depends on a uh, consumer. Uh, we can feel the taste of nuts, a little bit chocolate, but in the end of uh, taste is a little bit uh, fruit. Okay. But it also depends on how we prepare it. If it's uh, espresso, it will be a little bit sour or fruity. Or if we prepare it in a filter or every alternative, it will be a little bit more to the bitter. I'll find out soon enough. Um, this is because first one was empty. I need to <laughs> open another one. Okay. And this is a uh, one of a uh, very favorite uh, sweet for uh, also uh, older generation. My my mother love it <laughs> because it's it's very easy to uh, very easy to eat it because you can buy it in a regular shop right. and just. It. So we are again ready. So for this one we're using Costa Rica and also I'm going to make a milk. It's milk uh, like uh, for cappuccino. Milk is ready, but now we are a little bit different than in cappuccino because we're using a spoon to add the uh, add milk so You just used to put the foam, right? Yes, 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 because we, we want, we're trying to, uh, to have uh, stairs. Uh, layers. Right? Layers, yes. Layer. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know how to say, we also are uh, adding the, the beans. Just for uh, how looks, decoration. yes, decorations. Okay. Okay. It's. Uh, Shall we put that then? Let's just. Put okay, the, we can of course. It, uh, the best oh. shot. And also, the coffee which we make, we also. Okay, do but decoration. we don't uh, drink that. that no, no, no. Okay. Uh, who wants can? Yeah, actually, it is quite nice to chew on it. <laughs> so this is without milk. Wow, this is beautiful. Well done, George. Thank you. The layering of it, you know, so there's the sweetened milk. Yes, it's. it's and then the beautifully extracted espresso and then just the uh, milk foam cappuccino style foam there and instead of any powder or chocolate they put just a few pieces of coffee beans yes that's beautiful now what do you do with the rest of the milk rest of, uh, we are keeping it and using for uh, iced coffee of course or uh, latte because yeah. it's waste to pouring away yes it's, we can still use the milk and reuse the milk uh, right later okay now these are two new drinks for me one one and um, I must say I was told that the way to drink it is you stir it you mix the sweetened uh, milk with the espresso this is a very different variation of Spanish latte really I mean bonbon bon cafe coffee also came from Spain and uh, definitely this will be a stronger version of the popular Spanish latte where you put a lot of milk. This time there is no milk involved other than the sweetened um, condensed milk. So time for the moment of truth. Mm. Well, for some reason this one tastes like condensed milk. Um, the one I had last night was um, stronger than this. I think the espresso was probably pulled a bit too fast. But definitely the sensation is very different from a regular Spanish latte. This one tastes more like coffee. 
and um, and that sweetened condensed milk. I think he did put quite a bit or uh, quite a lot of condensed milk in this one. It would be probably better if you put a little bit less, then you can taste the espresso more. But this is a, the dark roast coffee which tends to be popular here in Slovakia. Well, the next one, they're suggesting that I give it a stir, but I think for this one I'm going to try it to slowly sip through the milk foam and see how the sensation will be. Mm, not a good idea. I could taste the, the fruitiness of the coffee. That is the first taste. Now if I give it a stir and that milk foam stays on top, it doesn't seem like the um, sweetened milk is mixing very well, but um, now it's looking just like a regular latte. Now this one also tastes a little bit on the sweet side, but um, it's probably, or it is a lot because of the coffee beans really. Um, this one he uses some more like medium roast coffee beans, Whereas this one is a dark roast. Here you could taste the, the smokiness of it, a lot more chocolatey and nutty flavor in this one. This one is um, a little bit more on the fruity side, uh, softer, milder taste of the coffee. But uh, which of the two would I prefer? Personally, I think this is very close to the Spanish latte, the one with the milk foam. And this one is just different. This is definitely Bon Bon Cafe. I would prefer this one because it's something different for me. Well. That's all I would like to say about these two drinks and if you do want to recreate this drink in your coffee shops or even at home, do give this recipe a try. It's a very strong espresso with sweetened condensed milk with or without milk foam. Well anyway, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be here. Um, any last words for our viewers out there in the world? So, if you come here in Trenčín, in Slovakia, you can stop here. Uh, at the day, we are a coffee, coffee shop we making coffee but at night we changing to the bar we have a beer or a wine or of course some free alcohol or lemonade or a kind of matcha drinks okay. so we will welcome you here and uh, we're looking forward if you come thank this you once is again the coffee ship at Trenčín in Slovakia thank you very much thank you very much Steve. that's all we have for today see you again next time thank you for watching Goodbye. bye thank you <laughs>